Coach, I imagine you haven't really yet done a deep dive into the bracket yet, but just initial thoughts about the seed and the, and, and the region. Well, no, I really haven't. I just told the team that really we got to look at it like it's the Charlotte Invitational right now. It's us, St. Petersburg, and and uh, then we'll go from there. But uh, you know, one, I, I really, I, I congratulate our guys because you, you don't ever take this time of year for granted. And the fact that uh, they've worked hard all year to put themselves in a position to, end, to earn the seed they've gotten, and uh, and I think they'll be excited to play. I, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind they're going to be ready to play and excited to play, but. Uh, it's just uh, you don't take it for granted, and uh, we're blessed to have this opportunity, and we've got to go really try to make the most of it. How do you feel later? What's kind of been the message to the team since the loss? And how you played defense? Well, again, I've I've told them a lot of stories. I've got a lot of stories I can tell. But you look at college basketball this weekend. Teams that won the regular season. I don't know. I think only Connecticut won it at their postseason tournament, and and uh, you go through it. Uh, I go back uh, the year we went to the Final Four. Uh, we, we lost in the first round of the Big 12 tournament to Coach Knight and Texas Tech, and I remember him grabbing me and said, hey, man, this is good for you. He said, now go win you a national championship. We, we got there. We didn't win it. But, uh, again, I could keep going stories after stories, but it's college basketball, and, and uh, we are where we are right now. I think we know who we are and what we need to do, and we've got to we've got – it's a whole new season. And it's the postseason, but it's a new season for 68 teams that – all of them are playing for a chance to win a national championship and play on Monday. St. Peter's keep your guys' attention a little bit more because of the run they went on? Well, I, that's what I told our team. I said if I were at St. Peter right now, it would be the first thing I'd put up right there. I'd say, look what happened. It can be done. And we know it can be done now at every at level. I mean, we've seen a 16 beat a 1, a 15 beat a 2. And, but it's about our focus and getting ready. And and uh, we've got to go out and we're going to have to play great basketball from here on out because if you're playing this time of year, you're playing good basketball. and. And uh, even teams like ourselves who lost two in a row. But, uh, but you look at that board uh, when they put it up, there's no easy games for anybody. I don't think anybody thinks it's an easy one. And, and because if you're playing now, you're, you're playing good basketball. Is there any extra significance in the guys that have been on this team having that experience of two years ago winning the tournament, losing in the second round as opposed to last year, and all kind of limping in, ties in three and made a run in the second round? I hope so. You know, I mean, it was interesting. You know, Zakai's brother was playing for St. Pete, so that's going, that's an interesting little sideline there. And uh, but the fact is, uh, we've got some experienced guys have, have been there, and and uh, they, I think w that will help. Certainly hope so. And as I said last year, really proud. Of, we talked about it uh, yesterday. Of this group, how with Zakai down last year, how hard those guys fought to get where we got to the Sweet 16, and I expect this team to have the same attitude. To, get there and hopefully further, but we got to take care of round one and against a team that, again, if they're in it, they're capable. Did you happen to see the 17? I didn't. I didn't. Texas. Huh? Texas. Oh, at Texas, yeah, I, I saw that. I, honestly, I thought you were sitting there thinking, well, it's, is it going to be Texas or Clemson? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, we, you know, I think, you know, we could have won out. Who knows? Maybe we could have worked our way up. But um, <laughs> I tell our guys, I don't care where you start. Uh, everything gets the matchups and what you got to play. And everybody, I mean, every game's tough. There's uh, there's a lot of scrambling going on right now. Coaches making calls to find out everything they can. I, I like the fact that we're getting to play Friday. I think hopefully that'll be. We had a good workout today and and trying to stay on our routine as much as we can and. But uh, uh, I think we'll have a, a good a lot of uh, people there with us. And, but I told our team we did in uh, Nashville, too. And I said, we we got to go and not disappoint anybody and mostly ourselves by knowing that when it's all said and done, that we know that we played to our ability. How much do you lean on a guy like Zakai and talk with these kids, guys who have been through this, to explain what it's like to guys like Dalton who have never been a part of it? Well, they, again, they, I mean, CBS is with us right now. You know, they got the crew back there. They been able to, I think you guys were invited, but uh, he said y'all didn't want to come back there. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, so, you know, uh, it, it's different. As you know, there's all eyes are on, on this tournament right now. And, and uh, but for some of them, it's going to be new and they're going to have to get out there. And I hope our older guys are steady enough to help those guys because they're going to, they're going to have some uh, anxiety, obviously, and a little bit anxious about it. But we've dealt with that throughout the year here. We're just going to have to do it again. Coach, you've been a champion for this conference all, all year long. How, how well prepared do you think you guys are and, and other SEC teams are to come to the 
Um, well, again, uh, this league is incredible. I mean, you, you go back, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, they were talking about, you know, nine teams, maybe 10 that were all still in the mix. And the fact that we ended up with what we did is remarkable because we all beat up on each other at the end of the year. And some teams got, you know, uh, on the t back end of that where schedules played out differently. But uh, this league has improved so much. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy for our coaches in this league because I know how hard we all battle and work. And the players in the league, I'm happy for our league. And, uh, and I think that people are hopefully understanding that uh, this league does play great basketball and it's gotten better every year. I'm taking it back a little bit, but what did it mean for Sakai of watching from the sidelines during the offseason from the side view in that exhibition game against Lenore Ryan for kind of his ability to see all 10 players working together, not just himself out there? Say that again, I'm not sure if I understood what you're saying. What? Sakai sitting on the bench watching him from the sideline, how that helped him kind of see the entirety of the game and not just his Well, I, I do think, and someone asked me last week, when did I feel like Zakai was back? And I actually said I thought uh, during the uh, second half of the North Carolina game, I thought he was really pressing, trying to do way too much. And uh, But I thought the second half of the North Carolina game is when he found himself. And then since that time, I think he's really he's had a couple halves that is not characteristic of him and only one game I can think of where I didn't think he was very good from start to finish but he's, he's improved so much in uh, seeing the game and uh, I think he'll continue to, to do that as, as he moves forward but uh, he's, he's a guy that I, I mean think about where he was a year ago this time and where he is today he'll be I got I'm gonna have to make sure he's not overly amped up because I know he's gonna be excited to get, get out there and go after it. Thanks coach. All right thank, thank you guys. Sir.